What's up, YouTube? On Thanksgiving, Mother dropped a huge bombshell on me, and she wants to have Christmas here in two weeks. Since I like to give handmade gifts, I was pretty shocked and pretty flustered. A few years ago, I started the tradition of making handmade ornaments to give to my grandparents and aunts and uncles. So I had a scramble to find a quick, fast, but cute ornament that I can get done in a couple weeks. So today I'm going to show you how to make this melted snowman ornament. I'll show you how to whip it up next. The things you're going to need to make these melted snowman ornaments are some clear Christmas ornaments. I just happened to get these ones at the Dollar Tree. It came in a two pack for a dollar and they happen to be plastic. So this is a perfect craft for kids to help with. You're also going to need some sea salt. I also got this at the Dollar Tree for a dollar. I've seen these made many, many different ways. You could use sugar. You could use that fake snow. But after reading a couple tutorials, people were having problems with their snowman bits sinking to the bottom. So sea salt works really well. You're also going to need some toothpicks. Now I also got these toothpicks at the Dollar Tree for a dollar. You're also going to need some peppercorns. I already had these in my cabinet, so I did not have to buy these, but I do know that they do have peppercorn grinders at the Dollar Tree. Now this is a mixed color peppercorns, and we only want black for the eyes and the coals for the buttons of the snowman. So I'm just going to dig through here and get seven black peppercorns. You're also going to need some twigs for the arms of our snowman. I just went out to our tree and I cut about an inch long pieces of little twigs off of it. Now these bulbs do come with hangers, but I don't like them. So you're also going to need a 12 inch piece of ribbon and also a two and a half inch piece of ribbon to use for the snowman's scarf. And finally, you're going to need some orange paint. Let's get started. So the very first thing that I'm going to do is go ahead and paint about a quarter of this toothpick. Now you can also use felt or I've seen them use craft foam. But since I have 500 toothpicks, I'm going to just use these. Now you just want to set this aside and let it dry. Next, grab your ornaments. Like I said, I really don't like the hangers that came on here, so I'm just going to cut them off. And then carefully take off the top of your ornament. Next what I did was I went and took a water bottle and I cut off the bottom and that's just to hold my ornament upright. Next we're going to take a quarter cup measurement and I'm going to put about a quarter cup of salt into each ornament. I like to put a little less than a quarter of a cup otherwise it fills up the ornament a little too much. Now grab a funnel, it really helps, and pour the salt in. Just like that. You kind of want to shake it around to get a nice flat layer. Now the next thing we do is just add all our snowman bits. So take two twigs. These are going to be the arms of our snowman. And you're going to throw them right on top. You want to take your two and a half inch piece of ribbon and stick that in there. And you might need to use a toothpick to help you get your scarf down into the ornament and you can also kind of arrange your snowman to get the things where you want them. Next you want to pick out seven peppercorns and like I said since I have a medley here I'm just going to dump some out and pick out the black ones and that's going to be the coals and the eyes for our snowman. And 
and just plop them in there. Next, when your toothpick is dry, you just want to cut off about an inch piece, maybe three quarters of an inch piece from your toothpick to be the carrot nose. Now I just like to take my paintbrush and where I cut, just dab some orange on there and plop that in our ornament. Now like I said, you could take a toothpick and go around and move things around if you want. But however, this is a melted snowman, so it doesn't have to be perfect. Next, you want to grab your 12 inch piece of ribbon and I'm just going to run it through the top here. And then just tie a knot. And I just like to clip off any excess about a quarter inch from the knot. Now carefully put your lid back on. Just like that. Now if you have some rambunctious children in your family that are hell bent on destroying everything, you may want to put some super glue on the top here to keep them from opening it, but I don't think it's really necessary. And now our melted snowman ornament is finished. This is super fast and super easy. And like I said before, kids would have a blast helping create these. I hope you give this project a try. If you like this video and want to see more of my videos, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below and give it a big thumbs up. If you have any questions about this video or any of my other videos, or just want to leave a suggestion for a future video, leave me a comment down below. Share this across your social media. And as always, thanks for watching. See you next time.